We've just seen an extensive new batch of documents in Dominion Voting Systems lawsuit against Fox News, suing the company for defamation for airing various stolen election claims after the 2020 election. There is much to understand about Smartmatic, which owns Dominion Voting Systems. No one knows their ownership, has no idea what's going on in those servers. The exhibits and depositions released add significant detail to previous briefs in the case and fill out the picture of a Fox News that was consumed with appealing to viewers who were anxious for stolen election claims. While the documents largely fill out the picture that we've seen so far, there are some interesting takeaways. One is that Rupert Murdoch, the head of Fox Corporation, and Tucker Carlson, the highest rated host on Fox News, both privately derided Donald Trump as he was airing his claims of a stolen election and before January 6th and after January 6th. Tucker Carlson at one point lamented that the four years of Trump's presidency had been, quote, a disaster. Both wished that he would just move on. A second thing is that we learned more about the internal, almost civil war that was taking place at Fox News, which often pitted its primetime hosts against its news side. There is evidence that primetime hosts and others were anxious about the stolen election claims being fact-checked. We also found out in the latest filings that many primetime hosts were talking about the idea that the news division was out to get them by fact-checking certain claims and calling into question certain things that were said on their airwaves. A third thing that comes through in these filings is that the line between the news division and the more conservative-leaning opinion hosts was often blurred. We see Fox executives talking approvingly about how Donald Trump was doing on election night when they thought he had a good chance to win. We've also seen a blurring of the line when it comes to Fox's editorial mission, which in many cases it seems was understood as helping Republicans or appealing to them, including when it came to the Georgia Senate runoffs in January of 2021. The case is very significant for a few reasons. First, the fact that it ever got to a discovery process and disclosed these embarrassing things about Fox News has provided some reputational harm for the network. Beyond that, there's the legal question of whether Fox will be found to have defamed Dominion Voting Systems. It's not so much that Fox merely aired false stolen election claims, it's that it would have done so specifically about Dominion and that it would have done so with a quote, reckless disregard for the truth. There are also significant questions when it comes to journalism as a whole, specifically when it comes to an outlet's responsibility to avoid airing misinformation. Dominion's argument is that the depositions and exhibits show that too many people within Fox News understood stolen election claims to be false, and given the voting machine claims were so prominent, it must have also understood that these were at least false or baseless. Fox's claim is that Dominion's filings have taken it out of context by taking snippets of depositions and exhibits and casting them in the most negative light possible. What's clear is that it is very difficult for someone to prove that a media outlet defamed them, especially if they are determined to be a public figure. The case is certainly ramping up with a series of briefs and now the release of exhibits and depositions, and it could be headed for a trial as soon as April.